Alrighty, we're recording. So, hi you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm back with a new reaction video. And why did I do jump around like this? This is not what he said that. <laughs> but anyways, we got you got a video called When Young NBA Stars Tried Trash Talking Steph Curry. So, I'm not gonna ramble. Let's get straight into this video. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Let's see. They say that those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Well, you know what? Mm -hmm. That phrase couldn't be more true than with young NBA stars today because, well, for some reason, they continue to trash talk and taunt one of the greatest to ever play the game. <sighs> well, at least it's entertainment for us, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know that phrase that's been going around the league? The one that goes, look at Curry, man. So inspirational. Uh, I think Kevin- I'm not gonna lie, I heard that. Look at like, so inspirational. Porter Jr. <laughs> took it too literally when he stared down I'll Steph in January. <laughs> I mean, look at him. That's downright disrespectful. Sheesh! But more so, it's dangerous. Because here's what happened afterwards. Oh, no. Steph appeared to have ignored him like nothing had happened. But let me tell you, even if KPJ apologized immediately, it was already too late. The bear was poked, the fire was lit, and as Michael Jordan would say, it became personal. Mm. You see, up until that point, Steph was just on cruise control, going through his regular motions. I mean, there was 415 left in the third quarter, and the two-time MVP had just 16 points. After that incident, however, Steph went full on unanimous MVP mode and scored 24 points. 21 of those came in the fourth when he went 7 for 10 from the field and 4 for 7 from three-point range. This outburst by Curry ultimately sealed the game for the Warriors, and <laughs> what do you think Kevin Porter Jr. did when it was all said and done? I think it was like 30 seconds left. I went up to him. I said, uh, I asked him for some pointers, um, you know. <laughs> After trash talking and staring down the chef and having 40 dropped on his head, he went to Steph for some advice. Uh -huh. That's a good one. Anyways, Anthony Edwards is next on this list. Ant-Man is one of my favorite young stars to watch, and he's a superstar in the making. Okay. One time last season, however, he, uh, well, you see, in November of 2021, with about six minutes left to go in the fourth quarter, the young phenom had 40 points already, his team was down 10, and he decided to say to the best shooter in NBA history, hey, Steph, I might go for 50. Well, Steph just walked away and looked to be saying, all right. <laughs> and Edwards, on the other hand, he... Uh, well, the kids are crazy, he, though. <laughs> he tried his best. With 1.3 seconds left to go in the game, he hit two clutch free throws to reach a then-career high of 48 points. And then the buzzer sounded. The end result was 123 to 110 for the Warriors. And that's all she wrote. Next off, we have the young superstar sensation, Luka Doncic. It was game one of the Western Conference Finals. With about one minute left to go in the first quarter, Steph was at the line shooting free throws. Well, he actually missed one to the surprise of everyone. What did Luka at that think? time, Luka proceeded to say, Dang, what's going on, man? You scared? Well, Curry wasn't going to let that slide and replied with a savage remark, Hey, Luka, would you shut up? Curry ended off that game with a game high of 21 points, a game high of 12 rebounds, and most importantly, the W. Luka, on the other hand, had a Luka special of being a minus 30 with seven turnovers. Sheesh. Oh, and before I forget, this was also the same game where Curry did that famous dance. Luka in the back. There's Luca, by the way. I think by that facial expression, he's learned to never trash talk the chef again. Anyways, next off here, I can't have a video titled When Young NBA Stars Tried Trash Talking Steph Curry without mentioning John ja Morant. Mm. This one's tricky because where do I even begin? <laughs> All right, so first off, after the Grizzlies game two win, he walked by Curry, stared him down and said, we're gonna have some fun, we're gonna have some fun. Then, oh, no. after the Grizzlies' dominant win in Game 5, Ja led the Grizzlies in 7 chant. If I dig a bit further, I can probably find a ton more that Ja Morant said, but uh, 
I want to fast forward to the aftermath of all this. Oh, you can't celebrate. Yeah. Oh my. You can do our little <laughs> remarks, Anna, but you, you cannot you know, go all in. When, but you know, this. You have <laughs> this is what happened after Steph Curry and the crew eliminated the Grizzlies. There's a lot more I can say, oh, but I think it's kind of mean to continue this against that facial expression. Don't Whoop like that, that trick. Our next story goes all the way back to right. 2017 when the Warriors clashed off against a young Celtics team when uh, Jalen Brown was just a rookie. Mm. You see, with just a few seconds left, it was a one-point game and out. Curry was matched onto Jalen Brown. Curry put him in the blender and sank an incredible buzzer beating three. What an incredible shot. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> after that play, Curry pointed at him, had some words, aye, and then aye, signaled aye. with his hands that Brown was talking too much smack. I've never seen Curry <laughs> point at another player like this before, so I was curious. What did Jalen Brown say that triggered the two-time MVP? Aye, aye. Well, after some digging, the only thing I found was that Jalen Brown said, I didn't say nothing to him, I was just playing defense. Well. That's what Jalen said, but hmm. other players in the of league have noted that. that the young Celtic star often engages in on-court trash talk. I mean, here's what J.J. Redick said about Jalen on his podcast. When we played in London, Jalen was guarding me for that game. At one point in the second half, he, I, I'm going to cuff on your show, I'm sorry, but he called me a I looked at him and was like, ah, I don't play that. And he's like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. So what... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Judging from the fact that we've never seen Come Steph on, really that angry play, towards right? a particular player for no reason, and from JJ Reddick's story, I'm pretty sure Brown did say something. You show anyways, it next off we have think. Matthew Della Vadova. Uh, now, Della Vadova isn't exactly a young NBA star, but in the 2015 finals, he was 24 years old, and as far as Cavaliers fans He's were 24 concerned, there? he was a star. Sheesh. This one isn't exactly Della's fault, but now. after playing some decent defense on Curry for a game or two, the media labeled him as quote unquote the curry stopper well according to sources within the warriors organization this angered curry andrew bogut said at the time people have lit a fire under steph which is a good thing it's something that you don't want to do it worked out well we know delhi is a great defender but we know he's not a curry stopper well in a pivotal game five of the series when the warriors were up seven with a little under three minutes left to go in the fourth Curry decided to end the talk that there was someone who was capable of shutting him down. Mm. I mean, Curry reached into his bag and brought out a series of moves that ended Ooh, with Ooh, we're bang. making him dance! Sheesh, guys. Look at all those moves. I wonder what the media guys were <laughs> thinking after they moves. saw that. Oh my god, one with a ball and one with a Next off here, we have a story on Lowry Markkinen, which dates back to January of 2018. This he one wasn't be... actually Lowry. He got a Finnish name. He's Finnish? His fault, as he was just playing defense. You see, it was still early in the first quarter when the two of them matched up on the perimeter. Steph tried to get past him for the drive to the basket, but Markkinen swats the ball away and it hits Curry in the face right before oh, he fell to the deck. That's a pretty embarrassing highlight. As far as I've looked into this, no words were said, but I'm sure Curry took it personally from that yeah. point onwards. You see, oh, so as nice of a block as that was when the final buzzer sounded, Markkinen was a game low minus 33 in the plus minus department, while Curry went 10 for 18 from the field, 6 for 11 from distance, and 30 points. Next off, we have a story of Trey Young. Trey! You see on Shaq's podcast, the Diesel was pushing for an oh, answer Martin. from Trey to the question, How many years before you overtake Steph Curry as the best shooter in the league? Trey's answer was, Oh, that podcast was recorded in 2020, and it's 2022 now. Well, in the last postseason series that Trey Young played in, which was a five-game series against the Heat, he shot 31.9% from the field and 18.4% from three-point range and averaged more turnovers than he did assists. How many years before you overtake Steph Curry as well, the best shooter in the league? You got a year. Okay. Okay. Anyways, this next story doesn't directly involve Steph, but it does involve his actual brother and his brother from another mother. You see, it was back in the playoffs between the Warriors and Portland, and uh, Draymond was heated and talking smack to Steph Curry. And when Steph was at the line, his brother wasn't backing down to Draymond at all. Here's what happened according to Seth. And I'm not Steph, I'll talk back to you. I ain't gonna just 
go play my game. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm talk back. I'm gonna say my say my piece. Mm -hmm. Steph was at the free throw line, like in between us, he was acting all awkward. He didn't know what to do. <laughs> I was I'm his brother. You was guy he been going to war with for ten years. He, he and Steph ain't know what to do with him. Like, I was, I, but I was loving it though. Mike. That's crazy to play with your family like that. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you watching. Bye.